Uh, what the hell are we supposed to do here? Oh, are we on? Good night everyone. I'm Gary Ping, here with What's Her Face Here. Can I get to hell yeah? Alright Gary, cool it. I'd like to talk about something different tonight. A listener from Indiana, named Shonda Beach has asked that we talk about something other than our usual political drivel. So, I've decided to take her suggestion. Oh, really? What topic have you chosen? How about this new band I've been hearing about so much called... Yes. I've heard of them. They're creating quite a stir in the media, with their poop slinging and messy shows. Poopy Blalock is due to release his book this week. I've just been sent an advanced copy of it, and I can tell you. It will blow your mind. Yes, now Poopy Blaylock has been compared to the likes of Jimi Hendrix and even Mike Lowry from Mean Street, but he's starting a serious uprising on YouTube for his short films of his penis. Have you seen any of these films, Gary? Who? Me? Oh well I hate to admit it but, yes, I have seen them. Well, who hasn't? Apparently Pope John Paul saw them last week, and was trying to divert the whole priest molesting thing, by blaming it on Poopy Blaylock's short films. And Poopy himself was very upset by this. Well, I shouldn't divulge too much from the book Sarah, but Poopy has recently been released from the hospital after a mishap on stage in Canada where a <coughs> drummer knocked over a 40-foot concrete turd, smashing Poopy's entire left leg, which has now been replaced by a wax figure from Madame Tussauds. Is that right? Yes, I believe that is correct, Gary. Shortly after that press release, Poopy Blaylock was quoted as saying that the Pope was someone that used to be a dartboard goalie with cottage cheese ass. The Pope refused to return comment. Indeed, Sarah. It's time for our commercial break. When we come back we'll show some edited clips of Poopy's infamous penis films and get the opinions of the lesser known members of... Stay tuned. I can't wait. <laughs> 